So, what's going on? Yup. So I did say that I recently um, started making payments. I don't like using the word purchase and bought because you know that's not how you know these things work in real life. But anyway, made a purchase on a Subaru WRX 2015 and yeah it says all that on this sheet of paper here also says my real name so I won't be showing you that but anyway um the salesperson said something very interesting to me he said that um Subaru is going to be sending you a survey and I was like cool and the survey is very important and I was like cool and I'm like I'm down to do the survey you know I'm down to be honest and all that other stuff so I'll just be going over the survey and basically giving you a nice review of Subaru and how their dealerships are well at least the one I dealt with I know which one to get closer <clears throat> I need something to write on well what's nice is the um, envelope they sent is um, prepaid so you know you can do it online um, survey at Subaru but then you also have to get your um, ID number so you can log into the website and then take the survey but of course they still got the, the whole thing so I'm just gonna go over it and go from there and I still don't have anything to write on all right Okay. All right. Sales facility. This is one. A. Appearance of sales facility. Layout. Cleanliness. Um, you got choices of one through ten and NA. So we got a ten on that. Display of inventory. Arrangement. Ten. You can't really put it against them when they're dealing with their own property and displaying their own stuff. You know, it's not like they're the dealership over here or the dealership over there. With what they had and where it was, everything looked great. Range and selection. Subaru doesn't have a huge range of selection to begin with, but you know, for what they have and for what they have, they got a tent. Comfort of the room area where the purchase price, blah 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 blah. blah. I'm young, so my comfort is different than an older person. So I'm comfortable just about anywhere. They have a nice little place to sit over here, a place to sit there, and a place to sit over there. You can sit in the cars, you know, it's really comfortable. But if you're an older person, I don't know, you might not be as comfortable. Especially in a Subaru, especially a WRX. But anyway, they got 10 for that. Yeah, sales consultant. <clears throat> Familiarity with models, features, and options. This vehicle just came out. 2015, so... I'm not the average buyer. I actually look into the vehicle thoroughly. I learn everything I can about the vehicle to see if it's actually worth my money. So, whether he knew anything or not, I don't even know because I was already looking up stuff and saying things about the vehicle. But if I didn't know anything about the vehicle, out of what he told me, he knew a lot too. So he gets to Sales consultants, interest in your purchase of the vehicle to best meet the needs. At the time, I didn't know what vehicle I was going to get at all. I just knew I had to get a new vehicle because that old Honda wasn't cutting anymore and it was digging into the pocket more than I was expending. Yeah, and once you get to that point, you're like, yeah, I, I gotta get something that I don't have to worry about forever. Um, he was patient, you know. I went to a lot of dealerships that day, and at all the dealerships, he was the only one that wasn't trying to put me in something. <laughs> The Hyundai dealership was like, oh, check this one out, check this one out, check this one out. Um, the BMW dealership, of course, they didn't have anything I wanted. 
they had BMWs and VWs, and I don't like either either. Um, but at least they were patient. Um, but Subaru dealership, you know, patient. More than I can say about the Mitsubishi dealership. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think they're gonna be. Um, sales consultants, currents, cur courtesy, and friendliness. And he's always friendly too. I give him that. Sales consultants, attentiveness, checking in. He does a good job on that too. Uh, sincerity and trustworthiness. He does a good job on that too. All right, purchasing thing process. No, I said purchase process, but I said purchasing. Ease of coming to an agreement to a final price. Good. Understandability and accurate explanation of each document. That's a different person that I had to deal with. Um, that lady's great. Ten. Sincerity and trustworthiness of person handling your financial. Yeah, she gets a ten. Time, blah, 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 I'm on the spin, blah, 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 and reasonableness of total vehicle price paid, 10. It was a base model that had a few added features, um, short shifter was one, and then the auto dimming mirror was another. Um, those were two features that came on it, you know, as it was, and had to add those. I didn't add anything else either. So overall, the price of the vehicle is actually really good. Really good. Um, it's when you add those um, warranty and other features, that's when the price gets jacked up again. But you know, I don't have to worry about um, a lot of things when I'm driving. Vehicle delivery. Now this is a interesting thing, so I'll go over this part. Thorough description of demonstration of the vehicle features. Yeah, they did a good job on that. Time taken on final delivery. I'm still gonna say. T oh yeah, because um, yeah, he did review the manual and all that good stuff. Um, overall condition. They still get a ten, but it's not their fault because Subaru dealership is owned by another dealership. Um, they're right next to each other, like most dealerships are. Um, the car washing takes place over at the Mercedes dealership across the street. I put a K in that street. And I have a feeling, because I used to a long time ago work at um, the Mercedes dealership when it wasn't where it is right now. And I used to do car washing and stuff. So if they do anything like they did when I was working there, I can totally understand why scratches that appeared on the right side of the car are there but I'm not sure whether they did it or they were already there and I didn't know this or blah 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 but you know they're gonna take care of it I'm not worried about it overall purchase experience taking everything into consideration how would you rate your overall experience in purchasing the vehicle with the sales facility they get a 10 I did sales a long time ago, and this experience was better than when I did sales. Yeah. Rate the level of trust you have in the dealership. They get a 10. How likely you recommend the dealership? I want to say 10, but it's Subaru. So, if I had friends and family that were all my age, That was it. I'd recommend Subaru all day. 40 years old people. Subaru, sure. 50 years old. Subaru, 60. Subaru, 70. I don't know. <laughs> I guess Subaru. The older you get, the less likely you are to probably purchase a Subaru, but you know, when it comes down to the dealership, 10. Did you receive a follow-up phone call or email? Yes, I did. 
dead where I can. Okay. The thing I'm using is actually smaller than the paper, so I have to slide it back and forth. Anyway. Level of concern for your satisfaction. They were truly exceptional in that. <clears throat> Flip it over. Internet. Big factor. Mm -hmm. Did I use the internet? I sure did. All the other website. I noticed something about their website and all the other super websites. They all look very much the same and have the very much same HTML format. So I can see Subaru had a big um, effect in that because some other vehicle websites need to do this. I won't name any names. You can just look on the websites themselves. Did you use the internet to search for the inventory? I sure did. Because at the time when I went to the dealership, they only had the uh, 2014, two 2014 um, WRXs. No five speed, no. And and then they had a few um, Impreza's on the side, and they have one five speed. No. Um, inventory information provided on your dealership website. Thorough. So they got ten for that. Did you use email? Uh, that's all I used, basically. I emailed and I went there. We're not that far. Um, response time. Now they got 1 through 10. Since the vehicle wasn't on the lot at the time of, of emailing and all that good stuff, it was truly exceptional 10 because we had time. Now, if it was already on the lot, I'm sure the emails would have came quicker or the same amount of time, I'm not sure. I don't know, but for what it was, damn. You really wish the questions and concerns. We were very thorough and clear with our emails. And if we didn't under any and if we didn't under if we didn't understand one another, we conveyed our thought processes thoroughly quality of responses to your questions in the first reply yeah we'll just do 10 overall experience communicating online it was really good did you use the internet in significant way to negotiate the, the um no I didn't okay so I can skip all right to M select any of the following websites you use I of course use Subaru, I use the search engine, I use the dealer website, I use Edmunds, I use other things, and that's about it. There's no questions, did you receive a significant explanation of the vehicles, blah blah blah, but yes I did. Um, was the paperwork completed correctly the first time? No, it wasn't, but that yeah, was fun, it doesn't matter, it was fun. It was half my fault and half their fault because I wrote a check a little too big the first time because I was doing my math wrong and yeah so we had to do it again but it's cool you know because going there is not a chore. Were you introduced to your service department? Yes, cool people there. Did your sales consultant offer to set up your first service visit? I do believe they did. Did anyone at your dealership? ask you to question this survey blah 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 yes they did wait wait oh answer in a specific way yes and they said that it's very important and not to well I'll use my words not to dilly dally with the survey take it seriously if you're gonna do it and so you know because it's important to them it's actually important to them. It's important to Subaru, it's important to the dealership, and it's important to them, so I'm gonna take it seriously. That's what I got. All right, and about me, male, single, no kids, this age, I'm gonna do the highest level income because I can, not because I can, 
acquiring a new vehicle. Had I owned one? No. Write in my email. And what do they need to do in order to improve? Wait. What does the dealer need to continue to do well and or most need to improve to keep and grow business for owners like you? Um, improve the car washing experience. I mean, it's cool that I give you guys keys and you take the car across the street and then they wash the car and then they bring it back. But it's not cool that the windows aren't cleaner, much cleaner. Um, it's not cool that they don't do the interior windows. It's not cool that they don't um, get rid of the water spots. You know, I mean, I know that they got cars to do and they're in a hurry, but they're a Mercedes dealership. I mean, come on. People that buy Mercedes, you know, they, they want their cars washed thoroughly. They want it to look right for the, ex the amount of time that they are not there. And it should be no different with the Subarus, you know. Treat the Subarus like you treat the Mercedes, like you treat a Bentley, like you treat the Maserati. Treat, treat, treat all the cars the same. They're all buyer cars, they're all purchases. And whether the people back there can afford them or cannot afford them shouldn't matter, you know. Just, just, you know, watch those cars thoroughly. Make them look, make them look like you would want your car to look when you're done with it. And do it fast, because, you know, ain't nobody got time for that. And that's my review of my Subaru experience. Um, any questions, comments, blah, 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 rate, subscribe, you know, all that YouTube talk mess. I don't care. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.